Shalom and good morning, friends. Welcome to Breakfast with me, Miss Beth. Thank you for joining me this morning so we can start our day with each other and Jesus. Today, I'm having a breakfast burrito. What are you having for breakfast? Mmm, that sounds delicious. Let's get our hearts and our minds focused on God by starting our day with a version of Martin Luther's morning prayer. Are you ready? Let's begin. Thank you, God, through your dear Son, that with the Spirit, three in one, you kept me safe all through the night, and I awoke to see the light. Be with me throughout the day. Let nothing evil pass my way. May you be pleased with all I do. This life on earth, I live for you. My soul and body and all things, I trust to you. You are my King. Your holy angel keep me near, the evil one I will not fear. Amen. It is so great to start my day thinking about God, and to help me do that, I have my Bible and my devotional, Breakfast with Jesus by Vanessa Myers. You know, there's a special feast coming up soon. Do you know what feast that is? That's right, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is coming up really quick. And in Thanksgiving's past, I bet you've celebrated with a bunch of your family and friends. But I bet you've never celebrated with over 5,000 people, have you? Well, today we're going to hear a story about Jesus sharing a feast with over 5,000 people. Let's hear about it in our Bible story. We're going to turn to the book of John. We're going to read from chapter 6, and we're going to read verses 1 through 15. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed over to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. It is also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd of people followed him. They had seen the miraculous signs he had done on those who were sick. Then Jesus went up on a mountainside. There he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover feast was near. Jesus looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him. So he said to Philip, where can we buy bread for all these people to eat? He asked this only to put Philip to the test. He already knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, eight months pay would not buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciples spoke up. It was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He said, here is a boy with five small loaves of barley bread. He also has two small fish. But how far will that go in such a large crowd? Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place and they sat down. The number of men among them was about 5,000. Then Jesus took the loaves and gave thanks. He handed out the bread to those who were seated. He gave them as much as they wanted and, they, and he did the same with the fish. When all of them had enough to eat, Jesus spoke to his disciples. Gather the leftover pieces, he said. Don't waste anything. So they gathered what was left over from the five barley loaves. They filled 12 baskets with the pieces left by those who had eaten. The people saw the miraculous sign that Jesus did. Then they began to say, this must be the prophet who is supposed to come into the world. But Jesus knew that they planned to come and force him to be their king. So he went away again to a mountain by himself. You know, I've been to a lot of Thanksgiving feasts and I've never had more leftovers at the end than I started with food at the beginning. But that's what happened in today's Bible story. So let's hear about what Vanessa Myers has to say in today's devotional. She writes, Mom, I am so hungry. I need food. Ever said that to your mother before? I believe we have all been so hungry at times that we thought we would die. It's not much fun when your stomach is growling and you can't find any food. I can only imagine that's how the people who followed Jesus felt the day they followed him to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. They loved hearing him teach and preach. They wanted to go where he went so they could learn more from him and see more miracles he would do. But when it came time for dinner, the disciples were ready to send everyone away because they needed to get their own food. Do you think Jesus wanted that? 
No. This was an opportune time to perform yet another miracle and to show the people who he was so they could believe in him even more. The disciples weren't sure what Jesus' plan was. They had only managed to find five barley loaves of bread and two small fish from a boy in the crowd. How was Jesus going to feed the 5,000 men, not even counting the women and children, with such little food? Jesus knew what he was doing. He took the fish and bread, gave thanks, and distributed it to everyone. The food had multiplied and there were even leftovers. 12 baskets of leftovers to be exact. Everyone was amazed. On that day, Jesus provided the food needed to feed 5,000 people. And he continues to provide the same for all of us today. He provides food we need to survive. He provides water for us to drink to keep us hydrated. He provides all we need at the exact moment we need it. He may not provide for us in the way we want him to provide, but he definitely gives us what we need when we need it. Thank you, God, for providing for us. Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for giving us what we need. Thank you for giving us enough to live on. Help us to always be grateful for the ways you provide for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, it's time for our weekly challenge. And Vanessa Myers writes, There may be people at your lunch table who do not bring much food from home. Share some of your lunch with someone at school who needs more food to eat. Do you think you can do that? Now, that challenge might be hard for some of us, especially the people who aren't at school right now. But you know what? There's other ways you can help to feed people. You can help to feed people by donating food to a local food pantry. So maybe ask your parents if you can scrounge around in your pantry and see if you can grab an extra can of food or maybe go to the store and get something. Well, that's it for this week, friends. Have a blessed week and thank you for joining me. We'll see you again next time. Bye!